All right, well, currently it's raining, and uh, uh, this is gonna be my next project. It's gonna be kind of quick, uh, just see if it works or not, but it's this snapper with an automatic transmission. I've always wondered, can you pulley swap a hydro? Well, today, we're gonna find out. But uh, first uh, issue is I have to pull it out of my uh, place in the woods where I store the lawnmowers. Uh, there's the other mud mower that you guys haven't seen. And here is my uh, trail cutter. And uh, here's another mower I have. So um, I'm going to go put the camera in the garage and hopefully you guys will be able to see me pull in with this brand new project. surprisingly smooth until I got to the ramp so uh, let's go over what we have here so uh, this is a snapper the hydromatic I've already showed you that at one point I was driving this I drove it to where it was parked I'm pretty sure well then I let it say sit forever like not forever but a couple actually it's been about a year so uh, I feel like it's time to get this back in my life. And originally, it came with a 14 and a half horse Briggs and Stratton, but I swapped in this 15. This 15 actually is the original motor from the Craftsman over there with suspension. Um, it did run, ran all right. Uh, for the ignition system, I've had these two wires. You touch them together to start it, and then this, this is a kill switch right here. Here's your throttle. There's throttle and choke. There's idle. I'm surprised that actually still works. Here's the seat. It's just a craftsman, crappy craftsman seat. It's the one with these uh, soft half springs in it. And uh, here's the battery, just 300 cranking amp Walmart battery from 1219. I swapped in a different solenoid on it. I'm pretty sure the solenoid is bad on it, but we're not gonna worry about that. The starter, I stole that for the John Deere. So that's where that went. Uh, originally I had two of these tires on it, but uh, the other one went flat, so I put the original one back on. This tire is probably flat, so I'm gonna take it off, put the original tire on. And, uh, yeah, this motor did leak a lot of oil, so we'll look at that later. It's just got a plastic hood, so I gotta, I might make a bumper for it. If, uh, it turns out that you can fully swap a hydro. If not, then I'm probably just gonna swap a different motor in it and sell it. Just as a little buggy, uh, puller, yard trailer puller. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully, uh, let's see if this moves. All right, so that's good. So the gears should work. Uh, let me, uh, 
get the full out of here and then I will show you uh, the underneath and what we're working with. All right, so I'm underneath the snapper and uh, it's been a while. So I've discovered that I have actually pulley swapped this. That's the last thing I did to it, but um, this pulley is about the same size as the stock one. And since you know these uh, automatics have a, a splined rear thing, rear pulley hub, so I'm not gonna pull this off the back. And also, it's already at like a four inch, so any gains we're gonna get is gonna be at the front. And also, we're pretty close to here. That distance right now, it's got a four and a half inch pulley on it. I want to try to go up to a six. Um, we'll see how that works. And since this pulley's been sitting on here for about a year outside, uh, we'll see how entertaining that is to get off. It's got some kind of tough torque rear end, so I think they're all right rear ends. If I've never had one fail on me, also, I also I did air up the tire. It's hissing. I don't know if you can hear that, but so we'll have to swap on another tire if that if this works. And the main reason I want to do this is if my friends ever want to come down and ride with me, uh, I need to get a mower for them. So that's why I have this. And, uh, yeah. That's basically it. So, um, I'll get to getting this pulley off, and then we will, uh, see about pulley swapping this bad boy. So with the help of some penetrating oil, a hammer, sandpaper, and an air hammer, you were able to get this four and a half inch pulley out. And uh, here is the pulley from the Craftsman with the suspension. It's not gonna be, you need it for a while, so we're gonna try and do a little pulley swapping. There's a good comparison. Uh, I'm guessing with this, it went around eight maybe, maybe eight and a half or nine. So, if I can get this up to like 12 with these tiny 18 inch tires and uh, the stock RPM on that motor, uh, I think we're in, in good shape. So uh, yeah, let me get this pulley, see if it'll fit in here and uh, go from there. Cause it is quite a bit bigger. I did have a five and a half in here, I think at once. And it was a really deep dish pulley so, which means like on this pulley the belt rides in this area on the other pulley if, if it was deep dish it would ride in like this area so that basically means the pulley is smaller where the belt grips uh, which would decrease your top speed so it was probably a, a slight bit bigger than this and this is quite a bit bigger so hopefully we can get into 10 or 12 miles an hour and then from there I can get more RPM out of the motor and bigger tires and we'll be set at a decent top speed. So uh, for now I will bolt this up, make sure it fits and we'll go from there. Alright, so we've kind of reached a stopping point for today. Uh, the 6 inch pulley fits. I had to remove this front end bolt to because the bolt head stuck out too much where the pulley wouldn't slide on so i removed the bolt and put this socket extension in there just so the front end wouldn't fall out when i had it up on the stand but uh the big issue is the belt doesn't fit it's too short and it's the longest one i have so i need to get a belt for my john deere project anyway so while i'm at tractor supply i will grab or i'll measure this belt and go uh, two or three inches bigger because right now the clutch is fully in and it's not even close since this is a hydro the clutch doesn't have to work it's never actually worked on it like even with the clutch in this tractor would still drive it would just slip a lot more so I'm just curious to see if I can make this work so I'm going to go with the I don't know I'll probably measure this and if it's get like a belt that's two inches bigger or so. Start from there. See if I can just make it drive with that. 
see what kind of top speed we get. If I'm happy with the top speed, then I will get the right size belt if it's not already there and get this whole tractor fine tuned. But for now, we just, I just wanna make sure it'll work. Uh, also to get the belt on the back, I had to remove the battery so I could lift up the battery box enough to get the belt over the pulley. And also, when I first, well, originally I was, a couple years ago, this was one of the first mowers I worked on and I took a bunch of stuff off it. And then, I don't know, last year, last summer, or maybe the summer before, is when I put it all back together. And, uh, I'll have the flashlight, so let me turn on the flash. All right, well, I'll have to stop the video and turn on the flash so you can see this. So, I'll be back. All right, so the flash is on. And, uh, I don't have any C-clamps or C-clips or whatever to hold the pulley on, so I just put some washers on and this hose clamp. So, uh, yeah, I might end up fixing that later, too. I get this thing all set up and I'll see look at this mess of wiring back here I just adapted everything to make this solenoid work and uh, yeah I have a new solenoid I can throw in here if this one is bad but the battery might have just been dead because it was sitting forever and uh, yeah it looks like this transmission's leaking a little bit of oil but whatever no big deal it's not pouring out, so it'll work. So uh, I'll be back when I get a belt for this. Also, at the same time, today is the 2nd of October. On the 6th or 7th, I get the head gaskets for this. So hopefully uh, the head gaskets, or I get this done before the head gaskets come so I can get that out of here. Because otherwise, um, this thing's gonna get kicked off to the side again for a while. Oh, right, if you're wondering what kind of what the model number is for the snapper, that's it. Le fourteen thirty three. Yes, in the fourteen is the motor size, motor motor horsepower, and the thirty three is the deck size. Just guessing. H is probably for hydro, limited edition fourteen thirty three H. LE might not be limited edition, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'll be back when I get a belt. Alright, so it's been a couple days with the snapper. And, uh, I bought a belt for it. I got a 91-inch belt. I think I started out with, like, an 87 or something. So, hopefully this is, uh, correct. And as you can see, it's not raining anymore. It's actually quite nice out. So, um... I'll try to install this belt and put the pulley on, see if it'll fit. Might have to put another pulley in somewhere, but whatever, we'll figure that out later. So uh, yeah, I'll be back when this belt's on. All right, so this is the 91 inch belt that I got from Tractor Supply. And uh, well, it doesn't fit, it's way too small. Uh, when I was at the store, I brought the old belt and used their uh, measuring device. It's uh, where you put the belt in the thing and you spread it apart to see how big it is. That thing said the belt was like an 88 inch. So I think eh, three inches bigger, that might be too big. But we'll try it anyway. And it's still too small. So track supplies, faulty equipment is what's slowing me down on this project. So at this point, I say... We'll just try to get the motor running. Because uh, this thing obviously is not driving tonight. Alright, so uh, I took the air filter off. It's looking pretty clean in there. So I turned the fuel valve on. It's the same gas that had it in it since it's been sitting for however long. I hooked up, I put a new starter on. And I hooked jumper cables up to John Deere. So I haven't cleaned the carburetor or anything. I'm just going to put some uh, carb cleaner in the intake and see if she'll fire up. Uh, that should be good. Maybe a little more. There we go. That's good. 
Also, I don't know if the kill switch is on. Actually, hold up. Let me check the oil real quick. So I know this motor did leak a lot of oil. So. Oh, it looks clean. Probably because all the crap went to the bottom. I'm sitting. One of the... One of these clamps on the jumper cables was uh, not good, so uh, I had to put a new one of them on. The oil is barely uh, at the ad mark, so I'll just run it like that at the moment. So uh, yeah, let's see what this thing does. seat is uh, failed. We're spinning over a little bit to get the old fuel out and we can inspect the spark plug all at the same time. Oh and this uh, petcock's leaking a little bit so that's fun. Not much but it's definitely not dry. Definitely hydro locked. There's like a puddle of fuel in that spark plug. So I'll turn it over real quick and uh, get the fuel out and then try to start it up again. fuel over here. So I'm trying to choke off this motor. I don't even feel like it chokes hooked up on this thing. That's interesting. I guess I never got around to it. I'm not going to need to show because how much fuel poured out of this thing, but uh, let's see if this will fire up real quick. Bit. I think the, a big issue is these drummer cables just aren't letting me get enough juice to the starter, so I'll go get another set. And uh, yeah, we'll be back. Alright, so I got a new set of drummer cables, and uh, let's see if it's gonna fire up now.
that's more like it. Yeah, those other jumper cables I have are garbage. All right, well, um, yeah, that's a good starting point. Uh, this motor, it's, I've never opened the sump. I've never taken that off. I have done a head gasket on it. And other than that, just basic stuff like starter, valve adjustments, card cleanings. But yeah, this motor has been good to me. So uh, yeah, if I do sell this motor, I'm gonna keep this engine because it's just always been a motor that I can just slap into something and use. But uh, yeah. Now, uh, I'm gonna take this uh, red cover off to get rid of the mouse nest that's probably in here. And uh, yeah. I'll uh, try the time lapse that. All right, so what do you guys think? Mouse nest or no mouse nest? There we go. Ah, that ain't too bad. It's about what I was expecting. No, not really. I saw a couple of pine needles fly out, so I was expecting a mouse nest. But, uh, whatever. Uh, only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is these, because this mower has had a wasp problem forever because those are mud wasps underneath the dash we have a huge wasp nest here and another smaller one there but uh, all the wasps pretty much just left because of winter and it gets cold so that's why this is trying to get rid of a bunch of these projects so I'm deciding what to keep and what to get rid of Trying to get this uh, big old wasp nest out of here. Oh, and there's another one too in the back. All right, well, I guess I'll put this uh, cover back on. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back when I have a bigger belt and stuff.